what is this fight um and where is this where where's the journey for you for people that are jumping in on your career right now so right right now i'm just working on uh getting the experience so i'm trying to get in there with guys that have been in the ring for a while like my last couple of fights been with pretty much guys that are experienced that had a lot of fights and um uh, i've been fighting down south a little bit like i fought in my last fight before this was in um rock hill south carolina so i'm glad like the south is starting to open up a little bit more because i do want to spread my name in different areas so um i think that um i'm just trying to get the experience and just build build the record up while i'm, while I'm uh coming up as a prospect you know so just to say say what you said and say it back just to make sure that i understand is you're kind of fighting different styles right now. You're fighting guys from across the country that have been in with a lot of guys, probably prospect guys that people see on TV. You're fighting southpaws, punchers, brawlers, guys that are coming to win, guys that are coming to survive. You're just getting used to a lot of different styles in these smaller groups. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to basically like just how it is in the amateurs, man. Like I try to fight almost every week when I was an amateur and I'll just get a different look as much as possible so I can get prepared for like my moment when it's time to get a a championship fight and that's a great thing you bring up because i really believe in the usa boxing and amateur boxing and a lot of people go well a lot of guys don't make it but the ability to see all those different styles and have to change especially in a national tournament i know you've won some golden gloves the to see a a southpaw and you don't know you're fighting the next day and now you're fighting a puncher and you have to make that adjustment in the ring you might not know it until you're in there because you don't know who the heck the guy is I think that, exactly. that that translates better, even though the punches are uh, da, 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 and you have to really sit on them joints when you're in the, the big boys. It still yeah. matters mentally to me. It definitely does. It's like if you don't get that look, you're going to be surprised one day when you get into a fight. And you, I don't want that to happen to me. So I'm just happy I got that experience when I was in the amateurs, especially the Golden Gloves tournament. When I won the Nationals in 2018, that was I fought against like highly decorated amateurs, people that have been on the in the World Series of boxing, and um, all types of stuff. Uh, it, it was just a good overall experience, man. I just I love the amateurs, USA boxing. They do their thing, man. Well, it's it's the breeding ground, right? If you look at a lot of the yeah. greatest fun, fighters in the country, most of them say, "Oh yeah, I was on Team USA," or "I I won a Team USA tournament." It's it's. It's kind of like going to college if you're a boxer. Who were some of those guys that you were – do you remember anyone that you fought in 2018? I think the, the hardest guy I fought was probably that uh, – this guy named Anthony Campbell. He was he was highly decorated as an uh, amateur. He was in the World Series of Boxing. And that was the final. That was my championship fight for the Golden Gloves. And I, I was um, I was an alternate on the USA team at uh, – that was at 178. I was fighting down in a international, what is it called? Uh, Continental Games, International Continental Games. I fought down there, fought against this guy who was ranked in the world. But I, I didn't, I didn't do too good down there though. But it was still a great experience overall, you know. Well, that's like the thing is, you fought internationally, so it's not always it's not always about being the captain of the boat. Sometimes it's nice to be on the ship, to quote my man, Beanie Siegel. At least you were on the ship and you got <laughs> right, to get right. the experience because there's a lot of people that they only see that international experience when they turn pro and they come in in the wrong corner and it's their fourth fight. And they're like, what the heck is this? Yeah, true. That's right. Got a point there. So how did you get into boxing? Bring me, let's bring it all back home again. How, how did this journey start for you? Man, I've, I've been wanting to do it for a long time. My mom didn't let me do it, like, till I got my, my stuff together. Because, like, growing up, I wasn't really, like, doing the right things. Like, in school, I was just r- trying to be in the streets and hanging around the wrong crowd. But as soon as I got my stuff together, I was like, you know, I, I, I seen boxing. I used to watch boxing with my uncle a lot, too. We used to watch the Friday night fights, the, the classic uh, fights they have on ESPN. And then um, I'm like, man, that looks that looks easy. I think I can do that. So uh, one day my mom's like, you know, get your grades right, get your stuff together. I'll let you start boxing. So uh, I got hooked up with uh, Tom Ankello, 
through uh, Verquan Kimbrough. He was a, a highly decorated amateur back in his, in his prime. And um, he said, Tommy's one of the best guys to, you know, get hooked up with the, if you want to really learn how to box. So I got hooked up with him around like when I was 16. So I've been doing it for like 10 years now. So uh, when did you realize you were good at boxing? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I still think I'm not good at boxing. I don't, you know what I mean? I, I think that I still got a lot of work to do. I, I got a, a high ceiling to reach, to reach 